All right, supporting our local farmers. Yay! Good morning guys, it is Saturday morning. Alice and I are just watching a little game day right now, getting fired up for the day. But it is so good to be the weekend and not have to go into work today. This morning we have like a little bit of a baby project that we're working on. And that is with our little our little pine tree guy. He's uh he's seen kind of better days. This actually was one of the pine trees from our wedding. So we gave out pine trees as like our wedding favor. And these like are, I think are little like white pines. And we tried to do something a little bit different, but we think we are killing this guy. <laughs> it's, uh, we, everything we've looked up, it says like, unless it's like really brittle, it may still be alive. And because it's in this tiny little pot, we think the drainage might not be as great, which it might have root rot. So we're gonna try to like dig this guy up and see if we can trim some of the rotted roots and maybe get this guy going. Hopefully, he survives. Oh no, so as we were pulling it out, it looked like it never really, like you can't really see that on camera, but it never really like took root, so we'll try to save it one more time. I guess we'll give our little love fern uh, another go. It's dead. You let it die. All right, so now we're getting on with our day. Where are we going right now? Um, so it's called Green City Market. They have one up in Lincoln Park, but they also have one in the West Loop. It's like a farmer's market, right? Yeah. Yeah, some kind of farmer's market. Ah, uh, small little park here. mini markets as say like Portland or anything like that but multiple times a week normally on like Wednesdays and Saturdays there are tons of markets like this set up all throughout Chicago most people don't know that all right supporting our local farmers Yay! got some uh, spaghetti squash and some spaghetti squash. squash squash got some winter squash what did the guy say to you about it he said, have it sit around, look pretty, because they're really pretty, and then bake it. It's the ones that look like little miniature pumpkins, but they're like kind of multi, what, here, we'll just show you. So pretty, huh? They look like that. Aren't they pretty? Winter squash, winter squish. Winter squish. So we're actually gonna spend some time wandering around in West Loop, because we don't actually spend that much time over here. Lunch time, which means parlor pizza time. Sitting here looking to order, and they have a pizza that donates to the No Kid Hungry Fund. Definitely getting that, and it sounds amazing. Oh, 
All right, we've been home for a couple hours now, just kind of relaxing. I've been parked right here on the couch watching some football. And uh, right now, because even though you just saw us leave lunch, we are starting to talk about dinner. So today's just kind of like a day of food. So we're gonna actually try some cooking. We're gonna cook for you guys. We haven't done that in the vlog in a while. And we are gonna be cooking with our spaghetti squash. That is not as appealing that side, but how about that side, huh? We have a recipe that we tried actually a long time ago that is like a twice baked situation for the spaghetti squash and it is so good. And by some miracle, I found the recipe in the cabinet because normally we're really bad at that. Because I like, I like to have recipes written out. I don't like to just like save things on Pinterest or things like that. Allison is a Pinterest fiend though. I love Pinterest. Loves Pinterest. If, if, if Pinterest ever needed a fangirl or like a mascot, I'm on Pinterest right now. So Pinterest right now, that's what I'm talking about. Twice baked spaghetti squash, let's do it. Looks great. Oh, High five. I think we've made this on the vlog before. I'm not exactly sure, but the Michigan game's on. We've been like listening and watching that as we're cooking, and I think Allison and I, I'll speak for you. Mm -hmm. You should say what you want, but like, I love cooking with her. It's so much fun. If you have an opportunity to like cook with your spouse or like your friends or whatever, like do it because it's like teamwork. Are you eating? Well, you're saying teamwork, but apparently once we're all done, how is it? We're gonna actually take a bite, yeah. Okay. Mm. So good. So it's spaghetti squash that has like vodka sauce and provolone and like Parmesan mixed in. It's real good. We will put a link to the recipe in the description below. You know what? No. It's just a short little recipe. Like this is like it right here. I'll just write it out for you in the description below if you're interested. It's like super easy with fall coming upon us now. Like especially in like the northern part of the US, like squash is really big. Give it a shot, even if you're not like a squash person. Like spaghetti squash is just like it sounds, like kind of stringy, like give it a shot. Allison was not like really digging it the first time we were gonna make it because she thought she wasn't a squash person. And now look at her, she's over here just, just mowing off camera. So we're gonna eat her dinner, catch up with you in a second. All right, guys, we're done with dinner. We watched the rest of the Michigan game. Big win, school record breaking win. But we are going to go ahead and end the vlog here. No sass, no sass. This is a friendly household until November 26th. 
and then we won't speak for the week. But thanks for sticking with us today, guys. We had a lot of fun. We, I'm gonna turn the TV off. Last time, we'll try this again. We had a lot of fun with you guys today, bringing you around, like showing you some places, doing some food stuff. Tomorrow, we have another fun day planned. We're gonna do some fall things and kind of spirit of fall. But, we're gonna let you go right now. We are super tired. So thanks for sticking with us. Please give this video a thumbs up if you haven't done so already. Check out those social media links in the description below. We'll put that recipe in there for you. And be sure to subscribe if you are brand new. We'd love to have you with us on our journey for all the future vlogs. Keep that Ohio State stuff out of here. So <laughs> thank you very much for sticking with us. We love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.